I took a test. Personally, I don't care about me as much as I care about my parents, but I'm going to take a 10 day break from my parents after okay. today. Brian? Yeah, mics are good? Yeah. We can just use this mic on. Testing, one, two. Check. All right, we're on. That's on. That's on. All right. This is Wiz P and... We have Wiz P and Double on and commentary. And Double. Can somebody update the brackets as Frittius in the form of Richard? Exposed. Doxed. All right, we got game one floaties. So Caltech, big fan. On the peach, that's powerful. I mean, from the peach. Pardon me. We actually have DD versus Fishbait here. This is not. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Chunk, not even yeah, Fishbait. This bait. is uh, DD, the Puff from SoCal, now number two on our current PR. Versus Chunk. I think our number nine on PR. A Wyoming player who is number nine on our PR. Gotta what up with P from Smitey Fine. Alright. Looks like the uh, timer is 90 seconds shaved off and only one stock a piece off. That means this is a very uh, brutal war of attrition here. Yeah, it should be noted, uh, Chunk has a history of getting timed out by Jigglypuffs. It tends to happen to him very often. Didi also thinks that Yoshi's is Puff's strongest stage, so <clears throat> I'm sure Chunk is more than willing to strike here. Yeah, I think both players prefer this for their game one, so let's see who edges it out. Looks like Chuck has been taking the lead stocks in these exchanges. The second lead he's had this set. Puff sharking for up airs and gets it. Keeps the game very competitive, only 32%. He starts by pulling a turn up during his ability. Standard, classic. Good dash dance on center. Back air keeps him out, puts him in an edge guard scenario. Turnips for edge guards. Goal Ooh. in up tilt rest from the chicken. Huge up tilt rest. Let's go, Chunk, coming from the crowd. Turn up, play. Ooh, turn up play. Big turn up. Oh my goodness Ooh. gracious, four. <laughs> Both characters facing aerials. Puff going in wow. with the side B gets hit with some sort of thing. There? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I dash don't... attack in on low percent puff. Fair building percent? Both players on last stock 29%, 22%. Oh, Jinx tried to land with the up tilt. Again, Jigglypuff is rolling in towards the Peach on some Kirby or Falco or Fox <laughs> fucking strats here. <laughs> oh, went for the fucking... Oh my gosh, the Nair stopped the forward smash from the Puff. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. Good raw grab, Two catching DD playing grounded. Playing center, playing center, holding center. Now Puff. Oh my goodness. What damage he has. Ooh. Wonderful up air will take Just a one. great call out with the up air. The crowd is now just seeing this. Alright, here we go once again. Coming in Ooh, with the good air dodge out. Up tilt and 
misses his big shot. Unfortunately, gets back aired out of that. Takes a lot of damage. These F smashes are just working every time. You... Classically, they say that, you know, Puff wins this matchup, but uh, Caleb making a case here. Well, he's had, he's had to put so much time into it because of the Puffs they kept timing him out, really. Didi is no slouch, perhaps not in this matchup either. He uh, he beats Fishbay quite often. They trade sets, but I think he's on top of him a little bit. <laughs> So for uh, Chuck to take Yoshi's on him, Didi's favorite stage, and, you know, probably maybe take this first stop. Very impressive. It's a hard matchup for Peach, and he does it. Fishing for some nice turnips. Ooh, great okay. grab. Continuing to shark back airs for this edge guard up air pop. Up air will do top. it. Fresh three stocks on both players. Oh, nice up smash attempts. Yeah, that was a great power shield in the float cancel back air. Looking clean. Buff trying to come in with that Nair again. Getting a soft hit L cancel for perhaps a cheesy oh. up tilt or a rest directly. Not cheesy, just quite Chuck getting out with a... My goodness. Wow. We all know what that is. <laughs> a stitch face. Very and close. He is smiling hard right now. DE has pearly whites in the player camp, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another stitch? Lies to see me? Oh, oh, toad play. Pulling the toad out. Once a game, he's good for a, for a recovery. Do you need to go in deep for the back air? Up there, I'll do it. Once again. Another. Scenario of even stocks. And this Peach's movement is so nice. He's setting his roll out with his weight dashes. She's very content pulling turnips. Yeah, I mean, throwing them well. You try and punish him for, for pulling a turnip. He just tripped you and I'm approaching her. Oh, good double pump. Got it. So there's, there's two mics now, and people can talk regularly. So now my tournament staff is going to be great. We are two mics. Ooh. Now we're not going to mute it. We're going to do it. Actually, with the up to a rest. Because it's loud, and there's a filter on there. Noise suppression. Wow, look. Noise suppression fixed how loud that was. Again. You, know, you can hear crowd noise because there wasn't a noise suppression on it. Now it's fixed. Don't request things that you don't know. I love you, Prettiest, but you don't know things. It already has noise suppression on it, but just like needed to be for two people. So now, Cole, please put that mic as close to your face as possible while you're sitting. Yeah, yeah you sit here. It was a DD won the last game with an up tilt rest. Do you want this as a peach counter pick? Yes. Cool. It's just all right. All right, everybody. Ross is helping us with the mic, so I think we're going to be a lot more uh, in tune. Hey, Yoshi. Thank you. Make sure that you're deep throating that shit. Yeah, yeah. So that it's. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, well, what the fuck happened to the game audio this time, man? Two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is fixed now.
Alright, here we are. Game 3, FD. This is Chuck's counter pick. These games have been very needed on both sides. We're seeing, once again, three stocks, similar percents. A very even rest seemed to be the, uh, the difference maker in the, in the last set. He won by three stock, but it was still extremely close throughout the entire game. Each coming in with the turn and throw forward air. Classic combo uh, up smash. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Missing that fair. Oh, going for a big drill rest. A well spaced F smash actually just completely safe on Peach's light shield. Oh, oh my goodness. F smash. Crossing him up with F smash. Catching a shield grab. Excellent play from DB. Up smash into a couple of rolls, I guess. He's sharking the up air. Okay, he's really getting a lot of mileage off of the single return. The up air will kill here. Especially now. And DD knows it. Playing not to get hit, not even one time with this percentage. Super safe. He could afford to take another couple of nares or bears, but literally cannot take a bear up smash. He's really looking for like a up there rest right now, I guess. Maybe up tilt. Oh. And he just goes for the actually raw up smash charge. I like it because Dee is the type of player that. Walk on top of you, so. Good wave dash back from me. Great spacing. Oh my god. Great control on the double jump cancel drift backward there. Yeah, just that. a slight float. Just to space nice. that there. D coming in with Ferris and Nares. Nares. Oh, you talk about Ferris. Amazing time, my crap. Come on, forward is great. And dwarf with coronavirus from home, ladies and gentlemen. We all miss him. Except for the Sheik haters. There's a huge call out with the forward air. The Peach playing from the sides right now. Oh, what a oh, he goes for it because he knows he can't. Let's see how much damage. A oh. miss, a miss, but a great grab to make up for the miss. The crowd is reacting heavily. <laughs> They're a couple seconds behind us. Uh, I believe, I believe, I'm seeing. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Back air right. catching him drifting that away. That's what I'm Sizers. We're seeing a counter pick of Found of Dreams. Chunk is good. Oh. And Chunk just about to uh, go into game four versus uh, Didi here. Didi is such a shark. It's so scary when he starts fading towards you. He usually spaces something safely or somehow mixes you up and tries to get a rest off him. Players playing the floaty matchup here. And the up smashes are just too good because what you just said. This buff player is so aggressive. Look, he just tries to come in on top of him the whole time. He just keeps doing up air and up smash to cover himself in neutral. I don't think that the puff 
can keep approaching from top like he is. I think he's got to just do a lot more discipline, discipline space, bears and bears. Yeah, there's good, there's good bears. Chuck's just so content running that cycle and pulling a turnip every time he, that Dina gives him space. He's doing it well. Oh, let's see the edge guard here. Good for attack. Oh my goodness. Waits for the out of shield. Barely living back there. Goes for a big call. Ooh, maybe out there could have connected. That'll have to kill. Keeping it close. Both players working around low percent. Great turn. And he just found quite nice percent. Oh yeah, he's going for the, the he's going for the turn of burials here. He pulls another. Goes for the up air. Yeah, this is working out great for him, honestly. Pull it though? Yeah, it's just enough time to pull a couple. Seeing up smash. Oh lord, have mercy. Oh my goodness. What a brutally scary up there. Oh. Spot dodge down smash gets out of that scuffle. I'm trying to find his way to the It could be rest, like any drill, there, up air, up to... Oh, even that. Not anymore, though. We're seeing higher percents now. Oops! <laughs> Big woo from the crowd. Chunk is looking quite nice here. We won from Chunk would be majorly impressive with PR just releasing media number two, and this is a deficit matchup for Peach, surely. Both these players spacing super well around each other. Easy to hurt. Chuck's just so content. Back and forth. Pulling turn is a to give him any back and forth. Oh, great deal. Without being punished for it. Ooh, out of shield and air into a dash attack. Once again, nice DI. Let's see how much he can keep this up. Looks that'll be a nice one. 60% is quite a lot. That is seriously two hits away from that. I see a turn up up there. Kill him. Oh my gosh. Dog. Up smash is the move here. Oh my gosh, how many up smashes are we going to see from this player? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. The beat floor is coming too strong today. Oh, but the back is hard. They'll be 1% here. This is Dean's last stand. We all know how good the player is on the rest of yeah. Oh, I'm here to play. This is the drill crab. <laughs> Almost nailed that. Almost got the other on that too. I cannot believe he's living. Does he have it in him to pull this game out? If Didi wins this, I don't even I don't even know what I can say. Yeah, it looks like the beach here is just cinching it tighter and tighter. But let's see what the buff can do. And that'll, right, we'll that'll take be it. it. Chunk taking the set. Just the fighting him. Chasing him all the way up. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. Incredible play from a beach player here today. That's a great way for Chunk, yeah. Do we have no acid pull here?
So we've got Polio versus Acid next. I don't think Polio's ever beat Acid. Sure, yeah. Everyone, listen up. Come on, come on. I need you to say something, chat. You say something, chat. What color does acid play? Red here? Is it red fox? Red I play default. Ready? Go! Alright, I think everything is correct here. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Alright, everybody in the chat. Tobin, I got you on the poker, bro. Of course I'll play poker with you. You should join a, a Discord for a poker melee player you can play. It's pretty fun. Alright, this will be a super exciting match, especially if Polier can, can make this for us. I think uh, Asset's the favorite, but this is absolutely doable, and I think Polier just won the PM tournament a little bit earlier. So, maybe he's burnt out, maybe he's super warmed up. I'll be, compl I'll be completely honest with you guys, commentator bias, I'm just going to put in my call for Polier winning this set because... Is there enough battlefield that's fine? Apart from Leo? Um. Early I took up into game 5 earlier today. I think that we could see a good showing from a Mark player versus Fox. I don't know how good Acid is versus Mark. That was a great combo. Polio's not quite able to finish it up. Good DI from Acid. Okay, great right. job. Just edge guard on Fox. Just to get him a type. Cleans it up. Oh. 
Yeah, he's just trying to get a clean floor in. Oh, grab. Oh, oh my oh, freaking oh, good thing. Hey, uh, Hoka doesn't look like him. right now, so... That's oh, shield, coach. I think he was angling his shield up. It's great. It's Dear God. Yeah, it might have caught his grab. It might not have been
And that's the worst when you get shined out of your jump and end up over the ledge with, like, with no jump. It's... Timber, but great survival DI. Enough to keep it up to the same stage. Can you dash attack forward or F smash? It's a down tilt roll. Perfect. That's right. We're seeing we ran out of early percent. See what both are going to up here. This is what we're having out of count. Tipper, 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 Tipper. Oh, soft hit. Wow, 100 off of this guy. Good center control. Get in there. Yeah, back here is going to seal it out. I did not see that tipper coming, but there it is. Yeah. Finding grabs on Fox, wonderful. Well, you're just finding the grab in the middle of all this Fox pressure. Fox's life was on the line. Oh my god, this is the Matrix. Two grabs in a row. Great combo. What's he gonna do with it? You can't get down. And all your cleans are up. Like, get up attack, catch yeah. up. I mean, what do you do? Oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. He hit this right away. Oh, good backer. He's, he's, he's going back to it. Swap off backer. I said he doesn't want to lose this. Alright, let's see what Boyar does. Boyar can get pretty nervous. I'll throw a pack air. Great that was a, oh no. Wow. No. They're shot. And he dares him. Oh my god. Dash back F smash and go. Oh my god. His up B's have been at such. Wow. You see that wave dash back up tilt? That was crazy. Who is this? This kid's been playing Smash Bros all day. Oh my good morning. He uses the ledge for the most perfect down tilt. What a, yeah, a great down angle down tilt. Oh, oh. That grab could have been big, but it's hard to get the regrab when they DI like that on the platform. Trash and it's just ruining Marth in his head right now. A great forward turn. Forward turn. Two of mine. Great up smash from Fox. We got Let's Go Alex, Let's Go Acid. Sure you against Polly, I didn't realize that's bad karma. Oh, a great shark on the top platform from Fox. How much more damage can he get? Can he send it to last stock? Oh, he just goes for a... Last stock for Fox. He doesn't charge it. Wow, he go great DI. Okay, he's a shark. He wants to grab. He wants an up throw S smash. 
Yeah, that's that back is important. Oh! There it is. Wow. What a good attempt from Great showing from Bully. The crowd loves him. They love him. And I do believe that Cole and I will probably be giving him our top ten Unless the uh Chad Unless you guys uh, all uh beg Chad's prize. All yeah. Who all at once goes. If you guys could just ask Dude, for us Riz, to stay. Where's Cole and Wiz? Yeah, exactly. That's what you guys gotta do in secret. That would be great. Guys, I think really, actually, it'll be fine. Just just stay on the chat with where's Cole, where's Wiz be, because because we wanna be here too. <laughs> okay. Alright, nobody heard us, nobody heard that, that's fine. Nobody clipped. Alright, if you do hear that, do it, but nobody heard that. What? Yeah, we might have to lose it. We'll see. We're kind of rogue right now. Mics on the players. I don't know if they would like that very much. Listen, listen, Holy R one, all right. I don't know who won. It was Holy R. And I think we're seeing a uh, chunk. Mitchell just assaulted me. We have Chunk versus Fishbait, a Peach Ditto. This is going to be a really strong Peach Ditto model, I'll tell you the truth. Unless it's Polio Chunk, let me check the... Anybody, anybody, uh, anybody get the bracket for a young commentator who's in front of the computer and the whole setup and could probably check up with, you know, Polio Bay? I'm pulling up the bracket right now, actually. Alright, who would tell on me if I took a big match right in here? Jokingly, metaphorically, we would never would actually do that. But... Huh? Would you do it? You guys are all cool with that though, right? What, Junior? Yeah, that was insane. Wasn't that right. so sick? The player sitting down first chunk is, in fact, Fishbait. Fishbait destroys Chunk. This, this is uh, going to be perhaps a 3-0. Alright. Do you guys think DD I think Chunk played really well. I think DD also was going to above. Update the above. bracket on my computer. Junior, Junior, you gotta take care of that. Chunk did almost hit it, it up smash, and it almost hit, like, 50% of the time. Yeah, so those up smashes were huge. Bears more than going in on top. I swear, he was... He was going on top, he could have been left and right. So yeah, it was, well, he was too aggressive. He should take that shit up. Yeah, this Peach did a... Probably whoever said they wanted to commentate is hiding right now. Alright, listen, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll tell you the truth right now. Yeah, Fishbait's known to do this, right? The Chunk's playing hotter than hot. Yeah, the Chunk's been... PR. Alright, we're, we're going into this right now. We're headed into this set right now. Game 1, Battlefield. Let's think after this we'll get Polier Russell, which will be also a very hype set. But uh Oh, there's a there's a Bobum on the platform. He he the platform. That's my favorite thing in the game. Fishbait does have a KZ win, that's true, and he has a chunk. Interesting. 
Hard to say which one's more valuable, but... Oh! What a little cash an item on air. Wow. Clean fade back to the enemy. Straight across the stage. Peach Warfare. Box crit, ladies and gentlemen. Fish bait a box player. There is a thing down. Up there here? Grabs the ledge? Oh my goodness. Look. This is deep a B counterplay. Peach actually has a lot of options when she does that B. Being able to close the parasol is actually, it creates so many mix ups. Not really getting any crazy huge combos or anything. That's not really what happens in this matchup. Just winning neutral, just five or six times in a row, and cleaning up stocks. I think that both beaches are looking forward to getting the other one above each other. So it's all about who's more grounded. So right here, Daisy will have the advantage. Now, edge yard. Such a strong man. This is Chunk's counter hit. Ooh, nice. Pushes him off the platform with the forward air and gets a down smash. Just because it's huge. Ooh. Oh, good lord. Fast fell to hit the nair. No jump to get back. Up he doesn't save him. Looking to be a hard set for White Beach. Ooh. Great, great Realizes you can't close it off. Reverse back air dash attack. It's so hard to pilot. If White Peach got an up smash there, that would have sealed the stock. Oh, oh. I thought he air dodged. That'll do it. No up air there. Oh, uh, you can't give it a stock away. Not like two that. of those. Uh oh. She's trying to go with more. Who says game? Who says game? Wow. Taking the extra game. three seconds Under to think two about it. Minute game. I don't think that this is going to be a good one. Our model three stack you in two minutes. And Trump goes to Yoshi's again. Oh, good, good. Found a dream. At least a little bit of a switch up. Oh my god. I just think that Chuck has to slow down a little bit, like less is more. Obviously yeah. he tried to turn up the jet stack again so much, you know. The 
Maybe you need to make work. less decisions and yeah. yeah. Try and really find an opening. Armand's just such a smart player; doesn't take too many risks. Mini turnips bouncing around on both these characters. Alright, I'll tell you the truth, boys. Ooh, Stitch Face cleans up the stock. Armand catches it off the bounce as well. Pack your F smash. Oh no. He gave this Chuck's been playing so away. hot, but. He gave the entire set away. Making some. Another underminute game. SDs here. Uncharacteristic mistakes at the ledge. About to lose his third stock. I mean, this second Games. Sorry, that was a sorry, very sorry. fast 3-0 from yeah, Fishbait. Uh, the fastest 3-0 you'll ever watch in a, in a PhD demo. Yeah. Sorry, that was see a faster 3-0 in a PhD demo. Probably the fastest chunk set I've ever seen. That was like 10, less than 10 minutes. It was a 10 minute 3-0 in the PhD demo. Literally insane. I didn't even have to update the score. We all knew what the f- We knew what the hell we was going on. We all saw that. It was so big. What a champion from Boulder, Colorado. His name is Fishbait. He's the best of all time. He's the best of all time. The, the boat. boat. The boat. B-O-A-T. Word. My time is up. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, you guys. You have been uh, great. I'm probably going to be talking to you guys now. <laughs> uh, also, so, yeah, I was, I stepped out of the room basically right when, like, top 32, 16 yeah. realm sort of started. So I missed from that to top 8. <laughs> Do you, what is, like, the main storyline going The storyline. Right? Any big upsets? I would have to look at the bracket. Upsets? Uh, I mean, if you call Poliar Acid an upset, then, I mean, that's an upset. I don't think Poliar was supposed to win that set, but... Easy man took him through. I feel bad. I haven't really been keeping a close look at the bracket. I'm not getting paid for this, so let me take a look though. Russell Poliar. So Russell, I don't actually know that much about Russell. I think he's kind of before my time. I just learned quite a bit in the last 30 minutes. Or so. We we need a we need like a lore master on commentary because Miyagi and I like have not been here long enough. I would be the worst lore master. I was hoping like. Yeah. Like oh like maybe if like 
Adam or like Destiny Bond <laughs> Khan, it'd be really easy for me to be like, alright, I got the game, you tell me all the storylines. Um, but Russell's a player that's moved around uh, to three different regions recently, so he was in Michigan, that's where he started playing. He moved to Iowa, uh, funny enough, worked the same company as me, which I didn't even know. That's right. Uh, Continue playing there, and now he's here doing PhD program at uh, CU. PhD. Wow. Um. So he's a player that honestly has been. From, so when he went in, won the MMM, MMM, uh, a few weeks ago, I was like, right, I'm gonna have this guy. I've never heard of him before. I mean, most I don't, I don't really. I've never heard of him before, but. Um, I like looked him up and I saw like a five, uh, like a five-year-old <laughs> set of him versus Kuyashi, 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 and, I won, that before. and he was like, he looked really slow, like just like a solid player back then, like I don't think it's a player that's like just random, randomly like first set out and became, you know, solid recently, I think he's been sort of consistently grinding at it the last, you know, Presumably, yeah, like, like seven or eight years, as most people have. You'd love to see game. the hard work and melee paying off. And all I know is that he has gray hair. I do like his hair. His hair's nice. So, this match of here is a lot of it is going to be in the, in the first game. It's really good for Fox to win, not only because of the character structure, but I do think Bart has an advantage with one less game in his presence. I agree. Because uh, like, there's a lot of, like, sort of one button things you can do from like sort of like pseudo random callouts. Um, and those tend to work a lot better when the box doesn't go one kind of weird. And you see like right here forward smash in the corner. Full air is a big forward smash or a big dash attack. Um <laughs> yeah, like, dash yeah. out of the corner. I like the dash tag with the down so yeah taking that first stock. Yeah I definitely agree about the uh, data collection thing is you really want to you want to have a deep bag of tricks as Martha and you want to be able to cheese people <laughs> at the start. We were set up for Russell that like it's a mark of uh, Martha that knows a lot about Martha. and he's already done the Mark Killer um, setup that Cody sort of represented uh, in the middle of last year. Uh, just set up and then double jump off and shine. And he's also done a whole group of some of the things they have to do. And that's just all the way through. <laughs> I love I love seeing that like just dashing in through the shades from the corner like you, you just got you have the guts like that's that's a that's a mark of like level two neutral it's just trusting that your dash is going to make it to center stage and it's like a hard commit on a soft commit option which is high oh that will shine that's like a curtain dude bro yeah we continue to go Yeah, I think he took his jump there. No, maybe no, he did not. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't really been given. Granted, his two stocks in, but. Takes a jump. That's a. Ooh, no, drops it. Yeah, that's terrifying as Fox. Like, it doesn't matter what your percent is. Even, even at, like. That's just a part of Battlefield. I think that's why, as, I know they're not playing Falcon, but as Falcon, I do like Battlefield because there's no walls there. Like, that box is so scared to go down because he can just get clicked to the eyes. No matter. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wow, that was an angle. That was either the sickest angle ever, or he just paid for some notches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and now he's at the March Riders percent. It's looking like he's just throwing out these jump smashes. I 
I love the full hop, the empty full hop and the full drift back. I yeah. love that. Actually, it's so good. Yeah. 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 That down air, that fall like down air was... Oh my god, I was that could have been bread. That counter, that's the classic. Oh, he's cheating. Bro. Oh, the spaghetti! No, the air reverses. Back in. Oh, oh, yeah, no jump. It's like playing a dead one. Yeah. Well played. Look, I didn't enter for a number of reasons. I'm not going to go super into it, but to mix up the personal and control issues. Uh, yeah, you were MD, I thought that last game was going to be fucking polios when he got sent the other way. That was nice. Ooh, ooh, almost. Yeah, yeah just a little, little bit too high for that gang combo to Russell is one of those players who plays very active defense. He's stressed, he's tight, he's tight, he's And in this match, I'm not that to me. Even Smash has some deep up there as well. He actually decreased the sort of guarantee throughout the combo. And we got a perfectly executed game. So yeah, that, that was crazy. Yeah, I totally agree with the Smash DI thing. Um, it's extremely good. Um, even though it's not really that noticeable, because I mean, you're getting sent up anyway, but you can get that into an air dodge, into an up B, and obviously it's not a great option, but uh, you gotta kind of take what you get. such good recognition of spot for the actual big combo. All the percent he's gotten in stock has been breaking, even out, 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 even Ooh, trying to read it uh, there into the corner, which he misses a first grab, but able to just hold together. Good oh, overshoot over grab. Uh, wow, that was, that, that was, was a sick conversion. That was so like a cross up. I could. That's that why I can't play Fox. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a yeah. Flash in, and if the, the length is too short to where people can really jump in so shine, you can dash all the way through the uh, shine. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. Signs of an experienced box. Just these angles to ledge. You, I never see boxing go to ledge there at a lower level. They just muscles make it work every time. Yeah, they're low level wrestling. Yes. That's awesome. It's just, it's like, like his punish is just, Marth just has the easier punish, um, especially in this stage, and it's looking like, like, I feel like they're almost equally messy, but just Fox being Fox, it's, yeah, he needs to skip right now. But, yeah, the burden of execution on Fox is not going to be Yeah, the up smash. He's at 99% though. He needs one grab to convert. I think the key here is the Bullier's punish has been about 6 out of 10. Throughout the whole sort of punish from start to finish. Oh my god. Push in the corner, grab ledge, grab there. Let's go. Yeah, but that is like. Oh my god. Ooh. The down tilt. No down air. Ooh! I was thinking down there, Such but... Good yeah, either way. What I was saying is... <laughs> I love when we see something, and then seconds later, we just hear the crowd erupt. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So what I was saying is, Russell's been dropping the very end. Like, he's been, like, really solid with, like, two or three hits, and then, like, one down. Yeah, I agree. He's good at gathering damage, but just, he kind of is having to find, like, raw kills, like, kill off his, like, raw smashes and so on. Ooh, and this is too good. No, it's not! Oh, well, that's how it's hard for Martha. Well, it shouldn't have been. Unfortunate SD from Russell. This feels e so Easy, man. Bad. Easy, man. I am so triggered, man. Oh, my God. This is like the one reason to do this you can do everything perfect as Fox and then that happens. And it's yeah, like, down still is like... It's, it's, it's something. I almost have started not taking part to Yoshi's game on the slopes. But yeah. Uh, or, sorry, no, uh, not, not banning Yoshi's. Uh, I do ban Yoshi's. I, I can't speak to that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, no, I don't like Yoshi's rage on the Chiefs. As part of this ledge dash. Clean, not a tipper, but gets a jump done. Oh, the shine! That's really good. That's super wow. good in the matchup. Because if you land the shine and try to like pump off the shine with Marshall, you might see in the corner. It's just like. Russell's doing a really good job of uh, catching these aerials that really are actually coming down. That's it. Like, low level and more scared. Like, Polyar's just kind of coming out with fairs and tears, and Russell's not getting caught by them, and he's punishing them before Polyar even hits the ground, which is just, just really like, impressive. The actual wins in this execution is just like, <laughs> feeling uh, Russell here. That was impressive. That's it, man. That's death. Okay. Oh, he was, oh he no, was on yeah. The yeah, and he's just, he's just falling. He's just, he's moving just slightly off, and it's just costing him. Makes it matter. It's good. It's still really good. Yeah. Nice second hit. Don't kill them. <laughs> These ledge dashes. These ledge dashes are clean. Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> this one ledge dash is set. He didn't even see a whole game. It's, yeah, the turn there is. You don't see what it's like when they're not nervous. It's, it's, it's terrifying. Like swap, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, I, I know. <laughs> These running shines. He's getting so many running shines oh into God. everything. Oh, he tries to get the slide off. I don't know if he get it. Good, good mix up. One of Fox's very few recovery mix ups coming back. From that. It's not really even. <laughs> it's not really even a mix up. But no, he whiffs, it, overshoots it just too far, and Poliar is able to convert. Yeah. Back to the Yoshi's. is like in most matches, oh. oh yeah. Most matches in melee, you're constantly under attack. It's like neutral to the when he's in the Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's like the risk reward is so massively turned in one's favor. Uh, he gets a grab, he's very high potential to kill you. If you land a shine, you get nothing. Yeah. Uh, so like really, one of the most important part of the game is that. Maybe, unless I'm misunderstanding something. Oh no! It's okay. It's still from side <laughs> Like technically, you don't you don't have to first mark in the corner. Oh, yeah. With the slant, man. The slant. With that jump side beat, yeah, that was good. Oh yeah. You're on Randall. There's so many options you can choose from. It's just so tricky to cover them all. I'm definitely just. <laughs> That's okay. We're not made to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie to you guys. Ooh! Oh my god, it's actually just... I'm a Polyar fan. You know, no, no matter, matter what you think about his work, whether he's lame, whether he's sick, I don't know, but he's a good dude. Uh, he's definitely a dude. Not that I'm gonna be replying you, wasn't it? Because he's not a dude. Because he is. Oh, and that, that won't kill. Just these, these kills that are coming out, like, I feel like a little bit way too early. And he was so progressively more swinging. Yeah, he had a good even game, and yeah, like, yeah, like you said, part of the corner. Yeah! He's throwing out some crabs. He's crabs again! I guess Russell's sort of the outside. Yeah, oh, yeah Russell. Yeah. God, it just these platforms are so, oh, so tricky, and Poliarch gets the F smash! Beautiful combo, but it's just so sad to watch Fox just get obliterated like that. Oh, oh, Randall! I didn't even notice that. No, I think he did. That was a pretty low air dodge. Holy art, the god! I <laughs> that was an amazing play. Yeah, just, yeah, he's farming. He's farming. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, what do you do, man? You have mix-ups, but it's just... It, oh, man. And that S-Match closes it out. Poliar is moving on to... Wizards Finals? Uh, I think when you are down like that, wow. in the game, as Russell was, you can't be doing that empty move that you did. Because the guys are swinging like Poliar. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, but damn. Also, that was the first quarter. Let me check it real quick. Yeah, it was. Next set is Fishbait, Poliar, Marth Peach. Also, shout out to Poliar for this run. I don't know. Let me show you the seat real quick. 
He was seventh seed. He's fifth place right now. That's hype. Who are these two winners? Uh, Fizz. Oh. Fizz and it was last stock, last hit. I was really? there. It was crazy. Both players were That's shaking. Such a good performance in this guy. Yeah. Both players did well, amazing good. sports when they win and lose, but. <laughs> Fizz, Poliar, that was crazy. I, if we could see the run back, Poliar could pull this off. That would be wild. Well, we're going to winners finals now. So we're going to see it sell it. Win, oh, winners finals right now. Yeah, we're, going to, we're going to see sell it. Versus sell it. Fizz. This is um, the run back. Are we collecting entire of like we're just doing what for like some colors and stuff? Um, or are we just running be, so You'll be able to see. Whoever sits down in this one will be the red part. Whoever sits down in that one will be the green part. Okay. Because hopefully, they're, they're, hopefully they hopefully don't cross. Two and three. Don't cross two and three are taped over. So if you cross the streams, you're literally just like doing that on purpose. You're purposes. just being inconvenient just doing it on for the sake of it. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know you have more priority things. So so. <clears throat> So some quick lore here. One thing I do actually know is these guys played in the grand finals of yeah, the this tournament, is be P1. which was which occurred. Sell it or if it's sell it's player one. Sick. Now these players actually played. Oh, right. And yeah, we got to get that on there. Is there a sheet? Yeah. Yeah, so he is Green Fox. Green Fox players? You guys know how good they are. They are not Yeah, man. I think that's good. Two, two, I don't know. Two, two, two. Three Fox, two, three. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so, I'm sorry, as I was saying, yeah, so the lore, um, I don't know if you were here a year ago, but almost, almost to the day a year ago, these players played at the return, which was our first, uh, I want to say regional, I don't really know my term, uh, terminology, that's the word. And you can't, you have to move forward. But these guys played, um, at the first big tournament back, uh, after Tokyo, we had like 128 freaking people go. It was high man. It was capped. I don't know if there would have been more, but DSA had to cap it. And there was a whole, I don't know, the venue was in a church, which was like weirdly kind of sick. Because the echo was really sick. And it, it was just... <laughs> it, it was an amazing event. And uh, these guys played in grand. Uh, you can see the... Uh, you can see the moment Uzi actually recorded a uh, moment, but uh, Fizz reset the bracket with an admittedly watching it back, not super hype combo, but it was just like, like he did a dash attack into weaken up tilt into up smash on the box, and the whole room just erupted. It was so wild. That's like one of the reasons I'm still playing Melee today, is like, that energy in that room was up there. I'm really hoping we can get something along those lines, but these players are... Um, I want to say definitely top 100, most certainly. I don't know enough about... <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah, he, he got 13th at, uh, 13th at, uh, Mo time? No, I'm sorry, Battle BC. Either way, these guys are really great players, and I'm excited to see how this turns out. So, more than I know, they must have seen school for a couple years before they transferred to the scene. Went really even when they went to the same tournament. Um, once Zelda left the last year, he leveled up like crazy. Now he was Zelda in the first tier. Now he's Zelda in the second tier. So, the Mingo Zane Fizz Ridley's level tier. Alright, that's a good shit. Two, two, two. Dash strikes. Yeah, they'll be good till the next season. It's a Fizz style. It's really just the talk. Watch Fizz play, you just know there's a pitcher behind everything. He's not just throwing out the moves to ball. Oh, that ball's going to be very easy. Oh, wow. Do you guys have much to do? This is all I got to do. That was amazing. That was brutal. That was terrible. Just a level of play. 
<laughs> that might have been like the one frame intangibility thing. <laughs> just. What is actually so good. Uh, I just say that. <laughs> oh, and yeah, this like that. This, this is looking like a one of my When, when you space it right and when you're retreating. Yeah, they choose that when you hit an aerial opponent, they're at yeah. well for you, and even if you hit a ground opponent, they're just going to kill That's so, that, that is the kind of really, uh, players will have friends' presence in mind. They can be really good. Yeah. 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 Seeing when they need to, and yeah. 
Not when they're not. I think that's like one of the marks of the players that haven't played both of them. Yes. Their reaction of windows that they create are on a lot shorter views than most players. Like, they will wait till the last second to react to something in neutral. Like, this will go with, like, full hop. Or, I'm sorry, like, short hop and they'll react. And so, uh... Oh, oh, the games. Yeah, two well, right? yeah, two, 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 the laser light again. I never ever see foxes do that, and Zella's just doing it like it's just another day in the office here. Yeah, punishing that down smash. Seriously, this is crazy. <laughs> I wish you was I do too. I want to see these guys play more. She'll drop back here. She's been catching him out with a lot of these. So, yeah, that's a universal mix of pass ball or no pass ball. It's not reads correctly. Spot dodge. Uh, what is that shine up smash? By the way, this is that she was uh, pushing off with the shine, I think, and then it's going to be a couple more. Keep that in mind. And there's one thing you as a spectator learned today. That's a mix up. If you fastball or not, especially a Sheik and uh, Spacey's, which is really fast to do that. It is so easy to want to read jumping in the pull up. Yeah, it just sit out on the spectator of the platform. Wow. Super three oh I really do think so. He's looking on stop play. He's actually the next next level. If Fizz can't do it, I don't know who can. I won't I am not gonna sugarcoat it folks. So when people cheer, I feel like there's no cheering. Yeah, we all want the underdogs to win. He works with kids! Alright, we're getting losers semis. Uh, Polier versus Fishbait. Yes. Fishbait, I've never watched Fishbait. Actually, Fishbait is. Well, I mean, I guess the PR literally just came out. He is the best player. Fishbait's the worst school, so the. Who is the worst spot in the PR? Yeah, perhaps. Uh, maybe perhaps. Like mayhaps. 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 Some people said these two may should have been. That is an hour, hour omniscient PR Illuminati. I trust them, okay? For the record, I don't know the steel. This just wasn't me. This is the great. Disclaimer, we do not endorse. We can neither confirm or deny our affiliation with these claims. Um, but yeah, so I think this would be, I'm very excited. I think that for some people perceive these to be very far from the steel. Yeah. Between like 1 through 3 and then 4 and that's the run. I am hearing players who showing us today that he's playing correct. Yeah, he's playing correct. I agree. Um, he may be, may be swinging a little too much, but like overall, he's looking solid tonight. Uh, but uh, against a bloodier opponent such as Peach. Oh, I think he's going right in. No, they're not. They're not. You don't start drinking that as worth. But anyway, yeah, Poliar, he's been getting a lot of spacey opponents and he's been dismantling it effectively, but versus somebody oh, like Fishbait, the Peach player, what's up? Uh, they are different. Their reports are after the pictures are done. Oh, go yell at them. Ross! That's a Ross. I don't know. Alright, we, we might have to deal. Fishbait is on the left, and Poliar is on the right. I see what you see now. Um, 
They did not, they crossed the streets. They crossed the boards. They crossed the boards. So what are we gonna do? They crossed the streams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a quick movement. How did that happen? Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. All right. This matchup is super, super interesting. I think the biggest info, it's like one of the most, um, one of the highest discrepancies between people's perception of that matchup really and how the matchup tends to work in practice. Uh, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think when throughout all levels of play, the perception tends to be more cheap. You can just dash dance around. You can get a big sword, get a big sword, wall around, all this stuff. Then like round to round, and the first thing that's weird and airborne, the other thing that's even weird and round, well spaced. One runs in, it seems like okay, but these guys are really. Uh, do something have a great answer for that? It's like a good answer. It's like right there. How to show you off? Or, I'm sorry. Or oh, just like oh this. God, it's just stuffing him so hard. Like, you can CC all you want, but that second down tilt is going to come anyway. Yeah, but, but, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, this is so stomp me. We're farming. We're farming. I, I'm ready for Toy Art to take it all the way out. We need the Mewtwo King stuff. We'll have a fair. That's a main must do that. It's actually one of the main ones. They're like calling to the Ooh, that's a, that's some like, if also played Peach, he would do that. With like the turnip stuff. <laughs> well, it just, ooh, that, that couldn't have been intentional. Yeah, he's gonna get punished for it, but his jump cancel. Oh my god. That was like, just a few frames. Yeah, yeah, don't even let him get his jump back. That was just emphatic. It's perfectly every single flowchart. Perfectly executed. But yeah, as just you can see Marth just boxing out, calling out Peach completely. Like, even like just just these pairs is just you either stand still or like you don't really have much of an option, but Poya oh yeah, maybe over it. Oh, so hard. The, the rules have been reversed now. This is the one that corner down to our down tilting. <laughs> that counter coming down. I never know what to do versus Peach Downer. I always feel like it's super. Like when I get hit by it, I'm like, oh. I got nothing. You can probably just, you know, hold down, whatever. But. Ooh, that jump read, and that's just it. That was, that was so clean. Fishman's punish game is on another level. And maybe he's proven his PR list to be correct here. And that's sort of what swings a matchup more. Whether it's a to face Peach or into whatever, maybe slightly bigger either way. Because that's what Stu Excel is. Punish game is really explosive, and Mars is a lot more nuanced. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Like, I mean, as with the many matchups, we see the Marthritis, like, it's super easy for Marth to get some ship damage in with these spares and up airs and whatever, but when it comes to actually finishing his food, Marth might struggle a little bit, and that was just... Oh my god, did the turn hit too? That was just messy. We need a shower after this. This downer's coming out. Poliar is looking... Oh! oh. I was gonna say a little mustard, but answer's right back and now. Polyar needs he needs to find his cutting skin. Ooh, tipper fair, maybe not a tipper actually. Ooh! Just barely missed. Good, really good DI. Not DI too far, but avoids an S smash and yeah, now get the punish from it. It's a down air. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I love Polyar went for the edge cancel of the um, platform instead of like swag. I don't know if this is time for it, but I, we welcome that kind of thing. Play with Bracket and you ask for Hammering, you just sit there and edge cancel. Edge cancel. It's so he, he clean. It's like 10 times and then he. Yeah, the pivots aren't necessary. The upbeats are not. I will say. <laughs> Up being on stage as Marth is either. Oh, it's just not always a great idea. 
Yeah, this man's out of shield game is just it, on another level. Like, you just cannot touch this man's shield. Just all these flow cancels uh, everything. Out of it, in addition to earlier not um, being tied to the win, but. Yeah, I just feel like these uh, edge guards. Like, Falcon, one of the reasons Falcon is so good versus Peach is because the edge guards are really not as committal as one has to be. Like, Poliar right there, it was a little while ago when Poliar put out. He should have put out F Smash optimally, but. Ooh, ooh, the the Citrate's Citrate's ball. Ball. Oh, the Citrate's pull. Oh my god, the shit. Yeah, it is so far. Is he gonna, gonna kill, kill him? him? No, he's not. That, that is why. No. Wow, what was that hit like? The bomb? He's oh, the bomb. The bomb. Oh, that's so good. And that's it. Just, just this whole... Yeah, that was, that was game two, two, right? Fish made up 2-0. Yeah, that's it. It's very indicative of the way Bowler wants to play here. Uh, this matchup where he wants to be straight in his sword because he's not going to be straight like that. A stadium or an MD, if you like that. I do think it's a good one. Yeah, stage. Finish page. Stage. Excuse me. I can, I can talk. talk. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely agree. agree. So, uh, the bullets are coming out. I feel like that down smash is so good versus Mark because of his. Uh, not. His, his, his up he doesn't go horizontally, so he's really gonna, he's gonna spend a lot of his time just turning back around. Stand on top. That was insane! Oh my god, the Randall was yeah, flow cancel, dare into dare. This Oh that, that, Maybe it may be a little overheat. A little overheat. Edge cancel dare fair really. Is that what you need right now? Hey, it worked. Wow, maybe, maybe. So like really basically how to this like only be Pull it with these edge cancels. That was an amazing stop. That was crazy. He's nasty. Yeah. I think what is really uh, hurting Polio right now is he gets shot. Especially his edge is drifting away. These edge cancels, he just all of a sudden he's just all these edge cancel dare fairs like pressure's gotten so good for Polio. This is even yeah, Fishbane is pulling back extra, but Polio still collecting this way. That's it. Air dodge, a really strong option for me. Just on the platform. just runs back in and bam. Yeah, fish bait on his uh, last stock in this game. Poliar trying to claw his way back from a 2 0 deficit. There does kill. The thing I think Poyer might be doing is chasing a little too much. Like I, I, I see him approach in the corner when there's not really any chance of him getting a hit, but he can just kind of stay grounded. Maybe swat Peach out of the air a little bit more. Actually, no flow here. Just really. Marth and Fal Falcon's strength, especially, I, I know this firsthand, is keeping Peach above you is incredibly strong. Peach coming down. Ball's very slow, has very has really mediocre like volley offense to cover remaining. So getting Peach above you and keeping her there. I mean Marth this joint is so massive and oh my god, this could be the game. Yeah, that's it. Very nice. Well we are realizing that advantage. <laughs> the crowd goes really wild. Kills. He got really key kills with like who was the perfect set. He got that like wave dash back, wave dash back in F smash. And he got like really solid uh, the uh, those are really big markings. Yeah, these edge cancels. He's gonna finish this. Oh! Uh, just, oh. that was really amazing spacing. Because he's kind of, he's just throwing them out now. Edge cancels or not, he's just, he's like, hey, I'll just, I'll take him. They're not really getting punished at, at right now. I would, you know, I want to at least see game five. This guy is Yeah, keeping Peach above you, but that was a really good uh, drift mix up with the double jump cancel. Initiated the, the double jump a lot lower than I think the air was going to be Yeah, the floating killer. The, what is that called? Floating killer. Yeah, <laughs> death by a thousand cuts. 
Wow. How did you catch the turn that was wild? Just beach players? I I don't know what to say, man. Like y'all just you choose to play this incredibly technical character and then you still lose like every match. It's like man, I think that's cap, honestly. It, at least it's hard. It's it's harder, and the reward I would say is not as much as Fox. But hey, uh, we don't <laughs> we don't have to have this debate right now. <laughs> Either, Either way, Ooh. I don't know if that was Smash AI or just he wasn't spaced far enough. Yeah, the face that is so impressive. Oh, that's good. Almost good. It's not good. Boyar is really sick to this uh, more grounded, more falling style, keeping the key drop stage. I think like that's some really big shit he's made uh, from uh, his first few games. He's literally just not that fancy. Yeah. He actually just straight up isn't that fancy. He's playing like a second and a half of mix ups and then saying, alright, time to make something happen. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's like he's not doing anything that isn't at least gonna train. But like, the thing is, we're seeing the stage come in both stocks, and he's been playing really hard consistently, but he would have died, he would have been... Oh, the, the bomb right again! Right. What's that? Two, one stitch and two bombs this set? And a Saturn. And a Saturn, too. Because RNG has been on his main side. But I, I can't say he's gotten much off of it, especially the bombs. But I know that first one almost shield comes, but... Yeah. Boyer is really actually adjusting so well. Yeah, he is. Boyer has actually seen a major shift in the way he's been playing. Back up the damage. I don't know if that could have been a, a smash. Ah, oh, man. It doesn't happen. They're going to wave dash off the platform and they'll put it up in the Yeah, and that, that turned him. Oh, he still gets it back? I definitely was not expecting that. Fishmate is doing what I do with Falcon, but as Peach, he's just running up and he's crouching outside. That was an amazing, just... Oh my god, massive combo. That was a massive lead. He just ran up, crouched outside of the fair, and was able to punish for that. Oh my god, he's actually spacing like a god right now. Yeah, makes Poliar double jump there, and now, yeah, that's a dead, that's a dead bar. Poliar on his tournament stock. He's so hard. <laughs> Let's go, Pol. Let's go, Pol. This is a master class at how to play Peach War. Dude, those deer, they're actually so bad. Setting up such a good turn of play. Now we see, and now I'm seeing fish bait is a grounded player. Yeah, Polyar is a grounded player. Yeah, Polyar is a grounded player. Yeah, Polyar is a grounded player. Played by fish bait, I have to do a player. Oops. Yeah, not, not. That's okay. Polyar out at, let me check. He just lost him once. Yeah, he's so, yeah, fourth place at, I want to say the biggest, what is this, the regional? Somebody in chat tell me. I don't know, I don't know if you know. What is this tournament? Is this a regional? No, it's, 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 it's just a monthly. It's just a monthly. Hey, but it's a big one. Hey, that's, that's what counts. What would we get, like, you know, like 40 something people? This has got, like, 75? Maybe more. I think some of them are for few excuses, so it's not even closer, like, oh, yeah, sure. Sure. That's still a great turnout. Oh, yeah, yeah, get top four. Now we see Fish Bait versus Fizz. I feel bad you guys made the, co the Falcon player come out and accommodate all these matchups that I don't know. I know, I know, kind of, you know, what more or less is supposed to be happening, but in terms of nuance, I can give, I can give uh, macro things, but not micro things. And now, yeah, this made all warm. I saw Biz in the crowd watching, so I don't know if he's been warming up. Um, the goat might not need to with this easy man character. It's not technical cheek play. No, I'm just kidding. So, this is going to be a big change of pace. Not actually in the opposite way you think in the matchup. It's striking. Wow, I think this is a direct violation of the rules. Um, so, like, those reactable situations where Fizz would really start 
These reactable situations where you would initiate a short hop or pull hop and react to what Fox is doing it doesn't really happen because the Peach, when she's in an unreactable spacing, has really fast burst movement. Um, so we're going to see a lot of things. What's up? Oh, the big problem. No, they're not. No, they're good. They're just both wearing light colored shirts in bad luck. Oh, forts are on. Oh my god, yeah. Two, 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 the base knockback of forward air as Peach is so big, you can get such massive openers even at zero. No one has to guy down. There we go, fix it Dude, he's fucking slapped. Yeah, slaps him in the frames that the shield is opening up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. four slaps to two. This man is looking crazy right now. <laughs> just these punishes have been so lethal. Like, uh, on every opponent he's been playing in brackets, just, it's hopeless. You gotta have a major game plan in order to even have a chance. Oh, that's huge. This is the such a huge commit. That's the close on that stock. I feel so bad. Get a fat trade. The trades are gonna be so brutal being essentially, you know, have a half of the line. Yeah, yeah. Fish bait per se. Oh, no. Aerosol beats the, the needles. Yeah. With the very few advantages that each might have. At least from straight up, it's really hard to hit her. But she is exposed when she's trying to sweet spot with the, the down tilt from a lot of characters. Yeah. This is staying largely grounded, and it's losing these like, short hop crates really hard. You can play a lot more on like platform based, needle based, spacing based in this match, but she. Um, yeah, the pair is so wide. Yeah, yeah. he just knows he's dead. Then for a long Let's see, this is still doable. Uh, Fizz rather than Bubble Horse. <laughs> Close game. Yeah, she packs up the ledge, has to get a keep in there. So those needles are great. Forcing a turn around and now, yeah, but. What are her spacing? Yeah, it's, it's less about creating those. This might like, be a stock right here. Oh yeah, God. it is. Oh, but maybe not yet. Yeah, that's it. Nice. All from that one ledge interaction, Fizz is able to get that punish. He is wiggly. Yeah, see the spacing, the spacing arrows are coming in. It's, it's a lot more effective strategy. Let me have those pockets in there. Yeah, this here. It's really even now. Oh, the Each sweet spot. It's so <laughs> bad. Yeah, that's invincible. Dude, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, it just doesn't get the right read. Just, just trying to make so something happen. Tricky. No Dude, jump? Yeah, he's jump go. That was I feel for a bear. Play. That was correct. Dude. Straight to FD. Fairly easy thought, but put in. I guess Peach just likes this because you can play it. Well, I mean, there's probably a lot more nuanced reasons, but... My... Because you can play it. You can play it. Well, yeah, but there's no platforms in that place. Yeah. The main thing is that... She has a harder time setting. She has to initiate an actual game to set up. Yeah, well, if you set up the platform, you do it in such a third level. So, it's very nice for that reason. Fishman is actually crushing, besides the very end of that game, crushing this wiggle in the corner. Both when he is in the corner, and when Fizz is in the corner, where like, Fizz has got nothing off his um, center tape pressure. And fish 
Ra's getting the party started next to us. <laughs> Alright. Extremely similar start from last time. That's the year is 45%. Almost a literal two frame title mix up. Be a 42. That is crazy. Dude, I. Let's do that. Because of like what it's called, I feel like a lot of it's just smoking here is for like disguising your pictures flaws, like all this effort that he's putting in, and it's still just kind of a like fastball or not. Okay, so. Uh, cool. The American Sniper's right here. Two. 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 The thing about Peach is that she, can use to, she has the ability when she is in the air to actually invalidate the ability to, to in certain scenarios to actually straight up move her out of the air. You need to play the mix up where she has like flow, double jump cancel, um, fastball, and snow fastball with like lag materials. Um, she has to continue to have to work a lot of the time or just get get her before she even initiates that goal or right as she so like in that scenario where he's already initiated and set up with two back there, it's extremely advantageous. It's not just like a one-to-one -one mix up with the paper scissors. It's more nuanced, it's like seven different options. Oh, that's a good one. That's a bad crotch game, so we don't That is bad. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a good one. That's a bad one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, 1-1, one, one. the straight is, the straight is proving itself to be a extreme contender here. This is so emphatic Peach gameplay. I think physical is second to this game. After... FD. Really? Do, do Sheik's actually like FD? Oh, okay, I don't know why. Yeah, Fizz is a weirdo. But he really likes the same thing. I can, I can see the merit of liking FD because it makes a neutral simple. But other than that, it's like... I don't know. Because I used to like FD a lot before characters were good enough to kill me on. <laughs> now we don't like it anymore. Well, like the pressure is just the corner is like actually being it's like right in front of you. He's playing the situation on both sides. Oh! Oh, almost a match hog, but doesn't get it. Yeah, no. that was never gonna happen because you can't even like shield push off against the Paracel. Oh, that's a good reaction up there. Oh, it doesn't kill. Wow, I definitely think it was good. Yeah, it gets sniped once again. This really just doesn't miss though. Ah, Park calls out the invincibility. <laughs> We actually smash him and dash his back. Super good presence by him. No jump. Wall jump. Yes! Oh! I, I don't even think that was necessary, but it was swag. Well, with, with the fairy, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Great crush against the ground. Such a scary thing to use with each item. I think that's like. There's plenty of frames there. And if this and if this game ends how it looks like it's going to, Fizz still does have a counterfeit advantage from game one, so trading games is very much in his favor right now. Parasol until way later using the uh, neutral beat to carry him a little bit. It didn't work out so well. That's a really great idea. Okay, Dreamland. We're extenuating like the neutral, and I think it's gonna be hard to win to miss the corner. I actually don't know how good it looks. What else do you think? Maybe you can just take Yeah. Alright, so that's 
Fishman's been doing this really um, great coverage of cross up, full cancel there instead of down smash when uh, on the Sheik's 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 landing line from the up B. And it's really uh, getting him a lot more mileage than Yeah, that high percent, the crossback road is like super high right up there, and also prevents the holding down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't agree. I definitely use it if you use that. I go with each one. So. Yeah. I'll be able to do two. 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 That situation where you just do things like a whole lot here to here mix up. But I think it's like a 60 40 situation. Ooh, yeah, you can go that way. Yeah, that was wild. He tried doing that before, and it, it, it's so key to hit. Uh, it's all like short the edge guard by hitting vulnerabilities. Yeah, I didn't think about the reason why. I just going through existential crisis. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. So, so these, so these tactical, tactical suicides. Even though they're not really suicides, it's kind of hopeless. All the cancer short on one there. That's <laughs> true. Now, going to say him, finish his counter pick. No, well, just, I think it's just a ceiling, honestly. And, uh, I, I don't know the pop, but it's the ceiling. She can kill off top of body. So. The thing is, uh, too, it looks for business not you. The top platform on the battlefield is going to allow you to choose to interact with people who want to. It's not like a broken thing where you're going to burst. Wow, that just kills. Wow, yeah. But he, uh, so he's first interaction. Again, the corner punches. Yeah, no down smash. Smart to not on the deck, I think. The needle that, yeah, that, that turns them around and that's such a big deal when your phone-facing moves don't have a lot of range or tension. It's really 
really great. I hate when the I hate when Sheiks do that to me as Falcon because like I'm trying to grab ledge and then double jump and then needle me and it's like, bro, come on. Like what a gimmick. Oh, is that a read? I didn't get a good look. Yeah, he's just full hop up airing and it's hitting. <laughs> Sloppy, like, and then this time, too, once he actually made it to the corner and won the most of the movie all the way there. Oh, that's like really fancy, isn't it? I don't know enough, but it's like, isn't that like a really hard to hit? It's a small hitbox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I don't even think it's intended that you're supposed to be able to hit gravity. Yeah, you can't hit it forward. It's really? That's not really. And it's even when you do turn around, it's not. I just remember seeing God use that against the same. But yeah, that's a really good use of it. But both of these guys, it's an even game now. So close. This is so huge, man. I do kind of. Oh, oh no! The Miss Ledge Dash! Now Fizz is on his tournament stock. Um. Second seed might be getting third right now. And I don't even know what uh, Fish Babe will see it. So, it'll definitely be an upset. Nice. Are you his third? Oh, maybe DD. I don't know. Yeah, DD also got kind of upset, right? By Poyer? Or wait, no, no by Chunk, by Chunk, by Chunk. Lost two. Russell and Chunk. Don't tell anybody, guys, but I actually unironically slept through that set. I was so tired from today that I I took a very mini nap for like. Oh my god, that was nasty. <laughs> we got some nice couches here. But Ooh, that was hot. Guys up the top, that's why you picked this stage. Last dog for most players here. Oh, I guess so. Very high. Ooh, in that four days, that just gonna do it. Yeah, I guess you get Zelda. Oh, he gets back. Oh my gosh, there's, 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 there's no shot. Yeah. How do you ah. 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 One nineteen percent. Any move is gonna send at least far enough for an easy edge guard. Oh my god, the power shield. That grab could be everything. He Another grab. This is Bro. so Bro. wild. Oh, these needles. He's just no. boxing around so perfectly, but that backer might just seal his fate. Oh, and that's oh it! Oh my god! Wow! That was an amazing set. That was crazy. Fishbait taking it 3 2 over Fizz. Last stock, last hit. 120%. Oh god, that was wild. Oh my god, Armanda. <laughs> Armanda. Surviving. Armanda. Dude, we need our guys to travel more, man. These guys are all top. Top, I don't know. So much they're they're at the tippy today. top. That was some optimal ass peach play. It's a very respectable sheep. Very good sheep. I don't know why I'm saying respectable, dude. That guy's amazing. Yeah, he's like pretty bad. Yeah, he's like okay. I think he beat this like one spacey player. I don't remember his name. Some guy was like like thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, now sell it. We, lest we forget, Zealot versus Fizz moments I have ago. Never seen, I've seen, I've seen probably 10 to 15 matches of Zealot. I like watch, I've like I've studied him a little bit and just watched him play at tournaments. Uh, I've never seen play games before. So I'm never, I don't think I have either. I don't really know who we would be playing against. Like I don't know. But, so, Zealot, absolutely, for lack of a better word, he eviscerated this wiggle earlier. It was not pretty. 3 0 and a handshake. But now, this wiggle not making a return to Grants, but Fish Bait is dead. I'm happy to, like, I really like this. But I'm happy to I agree too. I, I think it would be amazingly amazing if Fish Bait could pull this out. Winning two sets versus one of the best foxes in the entire world, I'm not gonna lie. He's up there. He can see a lot of I don't know if he has to see in Fox Sheep. Sheesh! Um there are scenarios 
where pull ups like go to Sinatra. Yeah, I'm interested to see how he handles like that mid um height kind of look whether he tries to cut it off at the start with like a pull up air, but kind of like that. And then he tries to try to like a pop up air or tries to just hold the mix up. Really to see how he does that set situation. I have full faith that he's just gonna yeah, and the fist bump coming out, going straight to Battlefield. Yeah, I definitely, like, it's not even campy, it's just, he's really just patient, like, shooting some lasers, dash dancing, just hitting you with all these soft commits. Making you do something wrong and then cancel on you. It's really not. I mean, he's just. He's, his pressure is just really safe. Yeah. Oh, oh, that, that, that looked like, like a scuffed hitbox. <laughs> which is the most reactable aerial, but still kind of really good. And then it's a bit upper. Upper, upper again. Yeah, yeah the, the pace is just definitely in Zelda's favor. It's looking like the trade is being. Pressured super hard, hard, but hopefully you can uh, catch it up. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Is that a fucking missed drift? That looks like he definitely could have made it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he, he did that back. Anyway. anyway. His pull up back is yeah, getting blended. The classic. It never, it never ends, folks. It happens to you, it happens to the best players in the world. Everybody gets blended. You want to see him, he's dead. Wow, that, that was, was amazing spacing. I don't get how these boys do it, man. You're so slow, but you just, you're just dodging all this. I, I, I played Valve because I can't handle that. Handle that. that. <laughs> I don't, it is weird because I feel like, you know, Sheik's uh, effective range, not at a, not like at a, like a high flow, it's really low. Yeah, wow. She has like this vacuum that just draws people to come yeah. through her right outside her range. Yeah, and Peach is just, it's just a ball of death. And yeah. she just like, her range is not good. But when she is on top of you, she will just blend you. It was better than Fox's range. Yeah, so sure. Falcon on <laughs> Is Fish on Box? Yes, he is. There's a Box final. Yeah, he's cheating. Yeah. Chances are if you're seeing, um... Yeah, the apocalypse is, has begun. Yeah, yeah, not on like... Wow, and he reads that roll a mile away. That was like a two second read. <laughs> that was beautiful. Honestly, could be anybody's game right now. Nobody's over centralizing super hard. Oh my god. Zelda is just moving. He's getting early kills. This matchup feels really, really good for I've never. When you're finishing with the others. When you are not, and she leaves 160%, you have to die from back here. The matchup feels a lot harder. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Puff in that sense, right? I mean, I don't play Fox Puff, but it's like, wow, oh, random kind of death. But. Yeah, nothing to cancel that there. No grab on And yeah, it's how it takes game one. We've we seen an FD. We've seen FD on the table. One thing I didn't mention that this matchup actually got worse with the new state set because FD is no longer a starter. It's stadium for our points. So now Fox can start on Battlefield instead of one of Greenland, FD, or FOD. Yeah. Go smash the eye on the shine to go to ledge. That could have been a follow-up. Yeah. It's so comfortable laying in neutral. Go. I like... My brain is like expanding. My neutral interactions are like half the um, time. Yeah. Really good fastball, but yeah, I think I think there was a tournament winner in the start of gets called out. Zelda had a meager 17% here. Just two games away from taking the trophy home today. I think we have a trophy. I hope I didn't just make that. There's no shabby or trophy. <laughs> no, look at the look at the jar with the lights in. Anyway. Good chain grab. Skill-based game. But too good. Rising inside B speed spot is so hard to cover us. Like any character, even Mark. That that uh that focus dash attack. I think that's like the first time he's done that in like literal sense. But it's so good as a mix up. I see Peaches on Unranked do that to me way too often, and I just read it at this point. I won't lie. But 
it's really good as a committal option when you haven't shown your hand for he's it. Getting the early kills and like that is just warping this matchup. Like the matchup is so even without that asshole. I really don't know why more people don't be I off stage. Um as far as for the yeah, for the chain like, grab? That's like true. Mango play, lucky play, like they always just DI in the middle and just go back and forth. They, they like they don't die, but they're at like 130 at the end. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a rock in the hard place where you either gotta gamble with the edge guard at a low percent or just kind of get hit too far away to follow up and then just like play usual at like all yeah. the so that's not really a good option. That is so the cool. That was almost so clean. That reverse. Yeah, and now they're like getting ready to take this game home. Nice fight. That's a Fishbait classic. We needed that to set. Fishbait's winning this game now. Like the turnips hitting each other? Yeah. You want me to see him do that. Very well, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people do that. Oh, you can see it, but cancel. yeah, this is the downside. That is so brutal, man. It's four years. These little mini extensions just getting nickel and diming fish, uh, should have said fish wiggle. Fish bait for everything he's got. Getting chain grab, though. Ooh, he needs that conversion. They combine their powers to be so. How do I fan I don't know. We'll, we'll get it later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So. Ooh, the dare coming down. Oh, but. Yeah, against Shine Spike, I think he's just. He's just gone. No! No, he's not! That was crazy! Oh, but he loses it anyway. That was. That was wild? That Peach Bomber. I don't know nearly enough about Peach to be able to tell you if that was smart or not, but clearly it got him to the ledge and that was good enough. Even though we lost the game, he won our hearts, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Yeah, Zelen is just... It's like really, he's not known for flat, like overly dramatic plays, he just plays the clean neutral thing out. Oh, Typing Grants for Grand Finals. Uh, and then you can add an L to his name. Yeah, I add an L to his name. Next to the scores. Oh! And now they got a cool little thing done. Fishbait finishing up the chain grab. I feel like he's back. after the chain grab, he gets off of the chain Yeah, ooh, that, yeah, that's just the worst. No SDI, no DI, no nothing. That's the Fox Classic. Unreactable throws. Because I don't know. 
I, I kind of want to look now. Because that'd be an insane stat if he just straight up did not drop an entire like he didn't drop a game at all. <laughs> No, nobody dropped a game to Junior. No offense to Junior. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he, he, was, he played Junior before this, I think. Yeah, and then... Oh, no, no, no. no yeah, no, three no, on Fizz? No, no, no definitely not. Let me, let me take a look. Literally, right now, I'm going to take a look. <laughs> I want to see this. Eight seed. Eight Interview. Interview. I don't know. I'm, I need to go home, so hopefully it happens soon. I feel like Zealot's not Yeah, Zealot, 3 0 Chunk, 3 0 Russell. Chunk, okay. uh, it's a 2 Bracket, item. yeah, 3 0 Fizz. Let's see, let's go back a little bit. 2 0 Dan, 2 0 Junior, 2 0 Day Neptune, yeah. Yay, yeah, he. He did not drop a game this entire tournament. I, looked, I just checked. Wait, you know what? If I get drafted, I, I'll play. Sure, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll play. I need to play. Commentary's great. Thank you, man. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna go check this out. It was fun commentating. Uh, thank you all for watching. I don't think the stream's over. I don't know if they're gonna stream the uh, draft crew or not. I don't think it's happening. Uh, that'd be hype if it is, but uh, it's already like freaking 1020 and we have to leave at 1130 and like I don't know how this is all gonna work. But thank you all for watching. Thank you, Nice Sorbet. I appreciate that. I'm glad you liked it. Um, Y'all liked Will and Double's commentary as well. I know they were up here. I can shout them out uh, for you as well. Or, uh, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. I think I'm hard. It was fun. <laughs> commentating like locals and or, like small stream commentary is that you really don't know what kind of commentary people do. Yeah. It's like so up in the air. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely like, shout out to Ross. Like, do people want really analytical? Do they want CB analytical? Do they want none of it? Do they want you to talk play by play? Or do they just want you to shoot the shit? It's so... Yeah, yeah. In grants, maybe not shoot the shit, but... Alright, anyway, sorry. I really gotta go. GG's, it was fun. Congrats to Zealot. Thank you all for watching. Shout out to local host. Shout outs to Jesus. Shout outs to my mom. Shout outs to Bye Ross. Bye. Trying to organize a draft crew right now. So... Stick around for a second, and we may have some more shit.
Have a wonderful night, Zoe. So if you heard him right then, then that's sick because you heard CC voice. Uh, everyone's dead and tired and infirm because it's late and it's been a long day. So we've all decided to skip out on our beautiful free battle idea. Nice women, I'll be returning your hundred dollar bonus for that because you really want me to like organize one on coming alien Monday or something like that. Do something that would be sick. Anyway, if you are just sticking around, thank you for showing up to ETCL, watching the stream, booing, hanging out, and then going back home to watch the stream. That's amazing. And it's really awesome to have the class here. And as my team breaks down the setup, I sign off and bid you all a good night. <laughs>